So hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today in this video we are going to see quality assurance interview questions part 3. So if you haven't watched the previous two parts you can go and watch those videos also and today in this video we are going to see part 3 of your interview preparation and the first question is how should an oblong tablet be positioned in the hardness tester to measure the hardness. So the tablet should be placed lengthwise. So oblong tablets need to be placed lengthwise in the hardness tester it is because it has a higher probability of breaking in this position so why do we calibrate instrument at regular intervals so in previous uh, series you have learned about what is calibration so how do why do we calibrate at regular intervals it is simple so in, instruments can drift out of accuracy over time even after qualification so regular calibration is required to ensure instrument produce accurate results so in order to check whether it is producing results within the limits we will calibrate reg at regular intervals using standards so what checks should be performed during calibration of a disintegration test apparatus so for disintegration apparatus the temperature of the bath is measured whether the probes are producing the 37 plus or minus 1 degree celsius you can perform it using a thermometer and the travel distance of the basket which should be between 53 to 57 mm and the number of strokes per minute as well as the stroke length so these need to be tested and the time cycles per minute so the number of strokes per minute that is cycles per minute, number of strokes per minute should be between 29 to 32 cycles per minute for a viable calibration of DT and the temperature is measured using probes and a standard thermometer should be maintained at 37 plus or minus 1 degree celsius and travel distance of the basket between 53 to 57 mm so these are the checks during DT calibration why is positive pressure maintained in the corridor instead of process area So maintaining different pressure gradients at various locations is essential to prevent cross contamination of products through airborne particles. So positive pressure is maintained in corridors instead of process area to prevent cross contamination. And guys those who are visiting our channel for the very first time and want to learn more about and gain deeper knowledge in the pharmaceutical industry you can follow us and coming to the next question what are the recommended storage conditions for empty hard gelatin capsule so the recommended storage condition is 15 to 25 degrees celsius with a relative humidity of 35 to 55 percent next question is what is the recommended dt temperature for dispersible tablets the recommended temperature is 25 plus or minus 1 degree celsius according to ip and 15 to 25 according to british pharmacopoeia and what is the difference between validation and calibration so again the question is repeated already we have learned but i am saying once validation is doc providing documented evidence that the process produces a, a results which are according to the predetermined requirements and quality attributes where calibration ensures equipment produce values within the specified limits what is required during uh, required duration for long term and accelerated stability studies so there are stability studies are of different types long term stability studies accelerated stability studies intermediate stability studies for long term it requires 12 months for accelerated stability studies it is 6 months what does cispq stands for so this is very important and please remember cispq means safety integrity strength purity and quality so these are the qualities of your product so safety integrity strength purity and quality and next question is which fluorescent material is used during the performance qualification of bin washing so here riboflavin is used as a fluorescent material and what class of clean room is required for tablet and capsule manufacturing a class d clean room is required for manufacturing of tablets and capsule so next question is what is positive pressure so positive pressure refers to the condition where atmospheric pressure within a area specific area is higher than in the surrounding area this is usually measured in inches of water or pascals so if you are anyone or working uh, already working in industry you can know the dp differential pressure and uh, all this and what is schedule m 
So Schedule M outlines the GMP and requirements for premises, waste disposal and equipment in a manufacturing plant. GMP is divided into GMP1 which covers the requirements for factory premises and other is requirement of plant and equipment. So these are some of the interview questions for pressures part 3 yes part 3 series there are some more series you can also watch after this video and guys thank you for watching please support us see you in the next year part of interview questions thank you